Hello everyone, I am Ludette and Albert together with my partner Faiz Ryan Ahmad. We are going to present to you the chapter 4 of Rizal's Life, the Scholastic Triumphs at Ateneo de Manila in the year 1872 to 1877. So here are the schools of Jose Rizal. First is the Escuela Pia or the Charity School which is a school for boys in Manila established by the city government in 1817. The next one is the Ateneo Municipal, which is the bitter rival of the Dominican-owned College of San Juan de Litran. It is also a college under the supervision of the Spanish Jesuits. Lastly, the Ateneo de Manila, which acquired a prestige as an excellent college for boys. So Rizal enters the Ateneo and Father Miguel Ferrando, who was the school registrar, refused to admit him for two reasons. First, he was late for registration, and second, he was sickly and undersized for his age. However, upon the intercession of Manuel Ceres Burgos, the nephew of Father Burgos, he was reluctantly admitted at the Ateneo, which was located at Intramuros, outside the walls of Manila. So, Jose Rizal was the first of his family to adopt the surname Rizal. For some reason, their family name Mercado had come under gun suspicion of Spanish authorities. He first boarded at Carabel Carabalio Street, which is a 25-minute walk from the college, which is also owned by the spinster named Titay, who owed 300 pesos to Rizal's family. The Jesuit System of Education The system of education given by the Jesuits in the Ateneo was more advanced than that of other colleges in that period. It trained the student by rigid disciplines and religious instruction, such as a physical culture, humanities, scientific studies, agriculture, commerce, mechanics, and serve. So the students here were divided into two groups, the Roman Empire, which is consisting of the internos or the borders, and the Carthaginian Empire, composed of externals or the non-borders. Each empire had its ranks. So the best student is called emperor, and the second best is tribune, the third best is the Curion, the fourth best is the Centurion, and the fifth best is Standard Bearer. Red is for Romans and blue for Carthaginians. The student could challenge any officer in his empire to answer the questions in the day's lessons. Failure to answer correctly three times, an officer could lose his position. So both banners were used equally in the classroom. On the first defeat, left side of the room. On the second defeat is the inferior position on the right side. On the third defeat, inclined flag was placed on the left. And on the fourth defeat, flag was reversed and returned to the right. On the fifth defeat, reverse flag was placed on the left. And on, six, on the sixth defeat, Banners was changed with a figure of and their uniforms are made up of hem fabric trouser and striped cotton coat. The coat materials was called Rayadilio which later became popular for it was adapted as the uniform for Filipino troops during the days of the first Philippine Republic. On Rizal's first year in Ateneo in the year 1872 to 1873, Father Beach is his first professor in Ateneo. He is a tall, thin man with a body slightly bent forward, a hard walk, an ascetic face, severe and inspired, small, sip sinking eyes, a sharp nose that was almost weak, and thin lips forming an arc whose end fell toward the chin. He also belonged to the, to the Carthaginians in which he was an external. He also became the emperor at the end of the month. He also took private lessons in Santa Isabel College during the noon recesses 
to improve his Spanish, which was actually 3 pesos per session. He also placed second at the end of the year. During his summer vacation in the year 1873 to 1874, Rizal returned to Calamba, but he did not enjoy his vacation because his mother was in prison. So, he was brought to Tanawan by his sister Nanning, named Saturnina, to cheer him up. But he went to Santa Cruz without telling his father in order to visit his mother. On his second year in Ateneo in the year 1873 to 1874, he became an emperor once more. And three of his class, new classmates were boys from Binyan who had been his classmates in the school of Maestro Hostiniano. He also received ex excellent grades in all subjects and a gold medal at the end of the school year. He also has a prophecy of his mother's release. In the course of Rizal and his mother's conversation, the Doña Chodora told her son, of her dream the previous night. Rizal interpreting the, the dream and told her that she would be released from prison in three months time. Rizal's prophecy became true. Barely three months passed that Andonia Chodora was set free. Rizal's teenage interest in reading. In his first favorite novel entitled The Count of Monte Cristo by Alexander Domans, made which made him a uh, deep impression on him. His boyish imagination was steered by the sufferings of Edmond Dantes, the hero in prison, his spectacular escape from the dungeon, his finding a buried treasure on a rocky island of Monte Cristo, and his dramatic revenge on his enemies who had wronged him. He also not read only fiction but also non-fiction books. He, during this time, he persuaded his father to buy him costly set of Universal History by Cesar Canto and, and read Travels in the Philippines by Dr. Fyodor Hagor, a German scientist traveler who visited the Philippines in 1865 to 1890. He inspires Jogor's keen observation of the defects of Spanish colonization and his prophecy that someday Spain would lose the Philippines and that America would come to succeed her as a colonizer. During his third year in Ateneo in the year 1874 to 1875, Rizal did not make an excellent showing in his studies as in previous year. His grades remained in all subjects, but he won only one medal, which is in Latin, and he failed to win the medal in Spanish because his book in Spanish was not fluently sonorous and was beaten by a Spaniard who could naturally speak fluently with the right accentuation. In his fourth year in Ateneo, 1875 to 1876, Father Francisco de the Paula Sanchez. Uh, he is one of the professor of Jose Rizal, a great educator and a scholar inspired by young Rizal to study harder and to write poetry. He became also a admirer and a friend of the great Calamba lad. He is also considered by Rizal as his best professor in Ateneo. He is also a model of uprightness, earnestness, uh, and love for the advancement of his pupil. Result became an intern on June 16, 1875. He, he also topped all his classmates in all subjects and won five medals at the end of the school term. In his last year in Ateneo, 1876 to 1875. He is considered as the most brilliant Athenian of his time. The pride of the Jesuit obtained the highest grade in all subjects such as philosophy, physics, biology, chemistry, language, mineralogy, and etc.
Rosy Rizal got a highest honor. Rizal graduated as the head of the class. Excellent scholastics record from 1872 to 1877. He also received from his alma mater the, the Ateneo Municipal the degree of the Bachelor of Art with highest honor. His extracurricular activity in Ateneo, an emperor inside the classroom, and a campus leader outside. He is also the secretary of the Ma Marian Congregation. Uh, also, a member of Academy of Spanish Literature and the Academy of Natural Science. He also studied painting under the famous Spanish painter Agustin Saiz. And also in sculpture under Romualdo de Jesus. Note that he is a Filipino sculpture. He also engaged in gymnastic and fencing. Father Jose Villa Clara advised him to stop communing with the muses and pay more attention to practical studies such as philosophy and natural science. Sculptural work in Ateneo. Riz Jose Rizal carved an image of the Virgin Mary on the piece of Batikuling, or in, or in a Philippine or a Philippine hardwood. Father Leonard requested him to carve an image of Sacred Heart of Jesus. The old Jesuit forgot to take the image with him to Spain. Ateneo boarding student placed the image on the door of the dormitory and remain there for many years. The anecdote of Rizal. Felix M. Ramos. He is one of Rizal co contemporary in at contemporaries in Ateneo. Manuel Serix Burgos. The one who whose house Rizal boarded shortly before he became an interno in Ateneo. Poems written in Ateneo. May prima inspiration or my precious inspiration. This is the probably the first poem wrote by Rizal in his days in Ateneo. In 1875, inspired by Father Sa Sanchez, he wrote the he wrote more poems such as Felicitation or Felicitation, El Embarque, Himdu a la Flota de Magallanes, The Departure or The Departure Him to Magellan's Fleet, Why is Spaniel Elcano the first to born, the first to circum circumnavigate the world, El Combante or be or bisdonto terror di holo, the battle, or bisdonto, or bisdondo terror of holo. In 1876, Rizal wrote poems on various topics, such as on record, on recordo di, oh, on recordo a mi pueblo or in memory of my town, alianza, in tema entre la, la religión y la buena education, or intimate alliance between religion and good education, por la education recibe la lustre la patria, or through the education the country receive light, y cultivero el, el troin, triunfo, or the captivity, and the triumph, battle of Lucina and the imprisonment of Bob Dill. The La Entrada Triontal de los Reyes Catholics in, Gran in Granada, or the triumphal entry of the Catholic monarchies in Granada. In his last year, in his 
and a year later, in 1877, he wrote more poem, El Heroismo de Colón, or The Heroism of Columbus, Colony, Colony Juan Segunda, or the, Colombo, or the Columbus and John II, Gran Consuelo y la Mayor Dicha, or Great Solace and Great Misfortune. On the rogo a los ebo a la despedida de los colegiales or a farewell dialogue of the students. Dramatic work, dramatic work in Ateneo. Father Sanchez, uh, his favorite teacher, asked him to write a drama based on the prose story of Saint Eustace the Martyr. Summer, on summer, in 1876, in Calamba, he wrote a religious drama in poetic verses. On June 2, 1876, he finished the manuscript. He submitted the finished manuscript entitled San Estacio Martyr or Saint Eustace the Martyr to Father Sanchez in his last academic year in Ateneo. The first romance of Rizal. 16 years old. Uh, and at the age of 16 years old, Rizal experienced his first romance. Segunda Katibak, a pretty 14 a pretty 14 year old Batanguin, Batanguina from Lipa sister of his friend Mariano Katibak his sister Olim Olympia was a close friend of si Segunda in La Con Concordia College but Segunda was already engaged to Manuel Loz. The first romance of Rizal was ruined by his shyness and reserve. Segunda, Segunda returned to Lipa and later married Manuel Luz. Rizal remained in Calamba, a frustrated, frustrated lover cheering nostalgic memories of lost love. Thank you and stay safe.